All right, everybody. So we decided to kind of shoot a small video because you know I post schematics how to do a catalytic converter removal on Pioneer 1000, and I had some questions why and 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 alerts and sensors and all two sensors, and uh, and then the second time I posted for I was doing it for my neighbor, and again same questions and somebody doesn't know what catalytic converter is and what it's for. So I decided to basically explain in, in, in maybe two videos. So you, this is a muffler and basically everybody was asking me if the machine will you know, send, the, send the arrow codes to the sensor. So the sensor actually is prior to catalytic converter. So, so it should not and basically once you remove that you won't see anyway any codes so O2 sensor is actually prior to uh, catalytic converter and cat stands for abbreviation catalytic converter because somebody asked me a question what is cat and why you need that for so basically it's quite simple i think you know on, on some some guys made two cuts and have to remove the cat but it's quite simple you need to make one cut I think it's seven and three quarter inches uh, from this flange and you take it off this is a cat basically like a honeycomb media that burns all excess of fuel wherever carbon and it gets super hot so hot that I think it's I think this is probably major contributor to the heat at your in your pioneer so you can code it, you can wherever, you know, all the tune-ups, they work, uh, but still I think, you know, so much backup flow and hot air comes from super hot catalytic converter that actually I think it contributes quite much more than anything else. So you can do like a software reset, but I would say let's do the best way is do hardware like in computers change it so basically what i'm doing i'm just changing the the hardware if i can compare this anyway so i removed mine this is what it looks like um yeah i tried to drill out somebody would like you take a cold rod or a drill no way you're gonna do this guys with cold rod it's gonna be a nasty dirty job so i will say the way to do it is to make one cut use a hammer because it's a press fit or inside of the muffler you know pipe it will just come out it's probably maybe like you know three quarter of inch you know goes in in the other pipe it's two and a half inch pipe you cut knock it off comes out we're gonna use right now bandsaw or you can use anything you want to cut cut it off then we bought the two and a half inch pipe it's basically a straight pipe you know, in my case, I use like a from AutoZone. That was quite less, slightly thinner metal. So welding is more is is not that easier because it's easier to burn through the pipe. But this one we got from Napa, and this was a way thicker pipe, so it will be easier to weld. And once we weld the pipe, instead of this piece, we'll weld back the muffler. We'll actually, you know, we'll push it in. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then just re-weld it and that's it and uh, that's what you need to know so if you have any questions, let me know we'll try to shoot some pictures how we do it alright, take care